Today I'm going to talk you through the new digital active pens. So uh, we're going to look at what are they and what do they do, uh, which products do they work with, and what settings do we need to check to make sure that everything is running smoothly. Okay, so you may be familiar with our um, previous version of the Active Pen. It came with the 500 series boards and the 300 series boards and a smaller version of it came with the 100 series boards. It has the hard nib that you pull out to replace and the right click button sitting up on top there and it's a nice ergonomical um, design. So the new digital pens um, also have the lovely ergonomical shape. They've also got the right hand click button sitting on the top there. Instead of the hard nib, they have the lovely um, felt tipped nib there. This can also be pulled out and replaced if it wears out. Um, what you can't see up under here is a tiny screw. You would need a very small uh, Phillips head screwdriver to undo the little screw there. And that is because these pens are powered by a small battery. Um, uh, the pens come with uh, clip-on uh, pen holders to clip onto the side of the panel or the active board touch. And these are quite important and we'll go over why later on. So why have we brought out a digital pen? Apart from obviously the surface here, these pens allow, in a similar way to the 500 board, um, a differentiation between pen and touch. So this means that once I change my settings in Active Inspire, within Active Inspire software only, I can differentiate between, or the, the board can differentiate between if I'm using my finger and if I'm using the pen. And this allows me to have two tools on the go at once, which you'll see shortly. So which products do they work with? Do the new pens work with? Well, I'm going to take you to the Promethean Knowledge Base website because all of that information can be found there and it's also a really good website to know about. So I'm just going to click on the page here. Um, the landing page uh, it can sometimes be a little bit um, confusing. Obviously we're in the Asia Pacific region because here's Australia and New Zealand down here and you just have to hover up a little bit to then pick your language to progress to the next screen. Now this has been playing up a little bit today so I'm wondering if it will take us Aha, it has. So there's a couple of ways we can search for the pens. They are an interactive tool, so we could click on this little image here. And we could scroll down to, oh, no image, but we could scroll down to digital and active pens here. Click on that and it will open a series of um, articles that we could read. But I tend to use the search function up here. So if I just put in digital pen and click search. Straight away it's going to come up with all of the documents or all of the articles available, potentially four pages worth, um, on Promethean KB. Now I actually have the two different um, articles I want to talk about here. So if you have an active panel, the Active Panel 3s come with the digital pen, so you know, you're pretty safe that if it comes with it, it works with it. If you are using an Active Panel 2, you can use a digital pen. Some Active Panel 2s require a small firmware upgrade. You can also find out how to do that upgrade by contacting our service people or looking up the article here. Um, if you're not sure what version you're running, here's the article link here that tells you uh, how to do that. So uh, the pens are basically like a Bluetooth device. So just as you would jump in your car and maybe pair your phone to your um, car phone by Bluetooth, to your hands-free, 
you are going to pair your digital pen to your touchboard or your or your active panel and if you are unable to do that with the pen it's a pretty sure sign that you require the upgrade now if you're unable to do this and you're using an active panel one well um, unfortunately active panel one is not supported so you cannot use the digital pen um, for differentiation between pen and touch you can still use it as a stylus and it's a very nice to hold stylus but you won't get that functionality that's what we're talking about okay and you can see just up in the top right hand corner here my search for that was just digital pens and panel typed into that box so now we've moved on to the active board touch article there are a couple of types of active board touch out in the market so um, we have the active board touch 2 or the active board 2 touch which allows two points of touch and we have the 6 touch so it allows for six points of touch now the active board 2 touch does not work with the digital pen so you cannot differentiate you can use it as a stylus but it will not differentiate the active board 6 can as long as your board has the serial number this or this onwards depending on its size so for the 78 inch if your board has this serial number or higher and for the 88 inch active board touch if your serial number is this or higher you are able to do that little firmware upgrade and make the board compatible okay um, let's jump back in to here okay um, so things to note we need to set our software up to make sure that it's ready and capable for handling the differentiation between pen and touch so that we can have two tools going simultaneously so to do that we go into our settings so here I am on the main menu button then I click file and then down to that little light switch settings once I'm in there I look down the left hand side for the title that says dual mode active boards sometimes it's further down the list mine's up here and we need to look at our options these top two are the important ones these bottom ones don't matter okay so touch or stylus we need to change to say or you could have one of these other settings but we need to say touch an active pen because it's a digital pen now have a look over at my toolbar on the right hand side as soon as I click this it's going to change there we go so if you're a 500 board user this will look very familiar to you because this is what you set up for your board so that you can differentiate between pen and touch so over here I've got a, a box with a pen in it and a box with a finger or touch in it so if I were to click on I'll show you in a moment actually but if I were to click on the highlighter pen with my pen and the eraser with my finger then that is the differentiation I would be able to have my pen acting as a highlighter and my finger acting as, as an eraser on the screen of the board okay so once we've set touch an active pen this is where the difference is if you are running a Mac computer you need to make sure that you have the touch interoperability set to default all right that is really important if that's not selected you'll see these two boxes however there will be no active differentiation on the screen okay if you are Windows you're after OS compatible in that box all right so touch an active pen and changing this one here to be either default for Mac or OS compatible for Windows. Now I'm a Mac, so I'm leaving it on there. Okay. 
Okay, keeping the pen away from the board when using touch. Because the pen is sending out a little signal to the board, if it is too close, the pen is too close to the surface of the touch board or the active panel, then it will override your touch, what you're doing with your finger. Okay, so if you're having a little bit of trouble, try keeping the pen a little bit further away from the board while you're using your finger. Uh, and the final thing I mentioned before those pen holders, keep the pen in the pen holder, so push it down into the pen holder when you're not using it because this is going to help preserve the battery life. It turns the pen off uh, somewhat. Um, well, it does turn the pen off. Uh, the battery is not a rechargeable battery, it's just an ordinary little alkaline battery that you can buy at the supermarket. So uh, these pens differ to our original active pens which used to charge themselves every time they went next ne near the board. Um, so once again, the cool thing about the pens is that with an active inspire you're able to now differentiate so I could be highlighting here with my pen on the board and then moving things around with my finger. Um, I'm not plugged into a board at the moment, I'm sorry, so I can't actually demonstrate that. But take my word for it, it's quite cool. Now remember if you have any issues or problems you can contact the Promethean Help um, or you can contact Laurie or myself. Okay, thanks for watching.